this video about difference between tinea solium and tinea saginata properties intermediate host disease transmission size scolex proglottids x infectious nature intermediate host tinea solium pig tinea saginata cattle diseases tinea solium tinea cis and cysticercosis tinea saginata tinea cis only size tinea solium the adult worm is usually about 2 to 3 meters long tinea saginata it is usually about 5 meters in length but may on occasion be much longer about 25 meters or more transmission Tinea solium infection is commonly among those eating raw or insufficiently cooked measly pork containing the cysticercae. Tinea saginata human beings are infected through the eating of undercooked beef containing the cysticercae. Scolex Tinea solium. The scolex head is globular in outline and has four large cup like suckers. A conspicuous rounded rostellum arm with a double row of alternating round and small dagger shaped hooks 20 to 50 in number. Tinea saginata. Scolex has no rostellum or booklets. Proglotids Tinea solium The total number of proglotids is an average of 1000. Tinea saginata The number of proglotids vary from 1000 to 2000. Tinea solium. The rabbit uterus consists of a medium longitudinal stem with 5 to 13 compound lateral branches on each side. Tinea saginata. The rabbit uterus consists of a central longitudinal stem with 15 to 30 lateral branches on each side. These in turn subbranch leaving practically no space in between. Tinea solium. Tinea solium may produce 50,000 eggs per proglotid. Tinea saginata. Tinea saginata may produce up to 1 lakh eggs per proglotid. X. The eggs are about 30 to 35 micrometer in diameter and eggs of tinea solium and tinea saginata are morphologically indistinguishable. Infectious nature Tinea solium Infectious to humans Human who ingested food contaminated with eggs of tinea solium may develop cysticercosis. Exoptenia saginata are not infectious. Human who ingest tinea saginata eggs do not develop cysticercosis.